president has at his disposal. We learned a short time ago, for the first time in combat, the U.S. military dropped a 21,000-pound bomb in eastern Afghanistan. Inside the Air Force, inside the military, it quite seriously is referred to as the mother of all bombs. Okay, now there is obviously a lot to unpack there, but let's just take a minute and appreciate the fact that we finally reached a point where mothers can be bombs too. <laughs> hashtag mom bombs, hashtag feminism. <laughs> But minutes after that historic bomb dropped, Trump took a victory lap that was tripped up slightly by one very simple question. We are so proud of our military, and it was another successful event. Did you authorize it to? Uh, everybody knows exactly what happened, so... And what I do is I authorize my military. We have the greatest military in the world, and they've done a job as usual, so we have given them total authorization. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was a yes or no question to which you vomited 38 words, none of which were yes or no, although, to be fair, none of them were Holocaust Center either, so I guess we should be at least partially relieved. <laughs> and incidentally, later reports suggest that the US commander who ordered the bomb drop didn't need and didn't request President Trump's approval, which means Trump has placed a significant amount of authority in the hands of his commanders. And you may think that's good. You may think that's bad, but I would not expect Trump to curb that power anytime soon because, as we talked about last week, this is a man who responds to praise, and yet again, he is being praised for this. Just watch Trump's favorite morning show, Fox and Friends, respond to the bombing. black and white. Good morning. That is what freedom looks like. That's the red, white, and blue. Well, one of my favorite things in the 16 years I've been here at Fox News is watching bombs drop on bad guys. Oh, that's a coincidence, because one of my favorite things in four seasons on this show is getting to look directly into the camera and say, fuck you, Geraldo. I hope your mustache gets caught in a box fan. Oh, oh that felt amazing. That felt absolutely amazing. Wasn't done. He had strategic advice for the man who was almost certainly watching. It's not going to win the war, but it certainly sends a message. The message has to be, we're coming for you. You know, I, I had a bully in high school, a guy named Richie. You never knew what Richie was going to do. Richie had a, a you know, uh, he'd have a temper. Sometimes he'd want to kill you, and sometimes he'd let you go. I like that they think that Donald Trump is like Richie from my high school. I want the bad guys to think that he could do anything to them Unpacked. at any, any moment, and I think that that has a positive impact. Holy shit! You see, this is why bullying never works. If you have a bully in school, there is a good chance he's turning some kid into the next Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> and if you have a bully in the White House, he does violent, impulsive things that seem to be inching us closer to, among other things, potential nuclear war with North Korea. And if that happens, it's gonna take a fucking amazing piece of chocolate cake to help us forget about it.